Hi everyone, welcome back. Happy Friday. We have an activity for you today that is an extension of the one Mrs. Chang did with the foil boats. It's about sink and float. Do you know things that can float or sink? Can you name a couple? Today I'm going to be using things from my kitchen. If you want to do this activity at home, you can do it in your kitchen or you can do it in the bathtub with other items other than food, or you can do it outside in your water table or little swimming pool. Here we go, let's get started. This activity, you are going to need a piece of paper. Do you see how I've put sink and float at the top of each column? You also need a pen. For this activity, I'm using an avocado. What's this? Do you know what that is? A zucchini, an orange, a kiwi fruit, and an apple. Next, I need a large bowl of water. I'm not as lucky as you guys with a water table outside. We are going to be experimenting with our fruit in the water bowl to see which fruit sinks and which fruit floats. You can make a prediction before you do this activity. And then when we find out the result, you are going to write down the word in your column. Did it sink or did it float? Let's find out. Although it's going to sink or is it going to float? Hmm. Let's find out. Oh my goodness, look at that, it's floating. It looks like a mole or a beaver in the water. We're going to take our pen and we're going to write down the name of the fruit. Do you remember what it's called? It's called Av Avocado. Avocado. And that's in the float column. Next, do you know what this is called? It's a big, long submarine shape. Yes, it's a zucchini. Do you think this zucchini is going to float or do you think it's going to sink? Let's find out. Look at that! Our submarine zucchini floats. Which column do I put that finding in? Did it sink or did it float? Next, do you know what this little hairy ball is called? That's right, it's called a kiwi fruit. Do you think the kiwi fruit is going to sink or do you think it's going to float? Let's find out. Oh, we have something that went straight to the bottom. This zucchini sunk right under the water. So did it sink or did it float? We are going to write it in the sink column. What does kiwi start with again? K. Then we have an I and then a W, then an I. Kiwi. You all know what this is. This is an apple. It's a small apple. Do you think this apple is going to sink or do you think it's going to float? Let's find out. That's right. It's floating. I think there's a lot of air in an apple. What do you think? When I was a little girl, I used to bob for apples on Halloween. My mommy used to put apples into a bowl and I used to stick my head in the bowl and try and bite the apple. It's a fun game to do. Where do I put my apple? Do I put it on the sink or the float? That's right. I put it on the float under the zucchini root. It's an orange. Do you think the orange is going to sink 
Or do you think the orange will float? The orange is exceptional because there's a twist to the orange. Let's have a look. Do you see that? It's floating. How amazing, and it's so big. How can that happen? I get to write orange now underneath my word apple in the float column. I think float is winning. We have avocado, zucchini, apple, and orange. And we only have the kiwi and the sink column. But I have a surprise for you. Because what happens if I peel my orange? Will it sink or will it float? Let's find out. Oh, poor orange. It sunk right to the bottom of the bowl. Do you know why that is? Do you know why the orange sunk to the bottom of the bowl in the water without its skin? Well, the peel that surrounds the orange acts as a life preserve. Just like when you go into the swimming pool and you wear a life jacket to stop you from sinking to the bottom of the water, the peel on the orange does the same thing. You can experiment in your house with all different kinds of fruit and vegetables or even different objects like toys or other objects from your house. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you do this experiment, please post it into your portfolio so we can see lots of fun that you're having. Bye. I wonder if this would sink or float. Hmm.